Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well, wherever you're watching me from. Now today we're going to revise uh, some topical questions from 10 lenses. Remember, you can able to access the known topical questions plus marking scheme uh, via demonstration or some of the practical and the lesson quiz at the end of the, at the end of each lesson. You can able to find this from the lessons. Now, the topical questions are free, but then the rest you can able to buy a lesson. Uh, for instance, when you go to the website, you'll find uh, light waves, then thin lenses is under there. So everything you need is there. Now I'm going to answer. This line here is called principal, principal axis. Same to this one here. Now this is a convex lens, which is a converging lens. Um, when a ray of light parallel to the principal axis meet a lens, this is actually what happens at the surface. Because it is meeting the lens at an angle less than slightly less than 90 degrees, then it will bend at this particular point here. So the ray of light will be refracted at the edge here and then continues to move and then as it leaves the lens again it again gets refracted at this particular point here and then it focuses so if there's another ray of light uh, somewhere here this one gets refracted and then refracted again and then they will meet at this particular point so where they meet is called the principal focus F. A lens bends the ray of light in two places, two parts. So at this particular part here, at this particular part here, and that is what happens. So now let's go to questions. But before we do that, there's always a ray of light which passes through the optical center of the lens. That ray of light is never deviated, is never refracted at any particular point. So let's start. I respond to a few questions that I've selected from uh, the topical question about the thin lenses, which I've told you that you can able to find from our website on free. Uh, just log in to the, go to the website and then you know proceed to where we have free resources. You'll be able to find uh, these questions. Now let's start with the number five. Um, the diagram shows a lens forming the image IY of the object OP, as you can able to see. Uh, from the diagram. So on the diagram, draw an arrow to represent the focal length of the lens. Uh, label the arrow F. Now this question just requires, it's actually a recalling question, you just need to understand what we mean by the focal length. Focal length is the distance uh, between the optical center of the lens and the principal focus. Where is the principal focus? When a ray parallel to the principal axis uh, meets the lens, it is refracted such that it passes through the principal focus. That means that this part here, this is the principal focus. So to indicate this, to answer this, we just need to put the arrow here from here. You can use double arrow. Indicate that. So that is where we have the focal length uh, represented by small letter F. Now, question number seven. The diagram shows an object OB positioned 20 centimeter from a thin converging lens. Both principal focuses of the lens are labeled F. So here we have a ray of a ray of light, uh, the light ray, which is parallel to the principal axis. Uh, this ray of light we know very well that it will be refracted uh, such that after refraction it passes through the principal focus F. Then a ray of light that uh, is passing through F, this ray of light after refraction it is parallel to the principal, uh, principal axis. So let's start. Now, for us to 
draw a parallel ray uh, to the principal axis then we must measure the distance from here to here and any point uh, along somewhere here so uh, if you do that this will be 0 0.6 can measure somewhere here 0 0.6 i'm just sitting here i got time 0 0.6 so from here so now this ray is parallel to the principal axis now where the two rays meet this is where we have the head so where they intersect or meet this is where we have the head of the image As you draw, uh, look here, uh, I'm going to use this line here for the three to put it along the principal axis so that whatever line that I'm going to draw here is going to be perpendicular to it to ensure that the image is perpendicular to the principal axis. So the long line along the principal axis will ensure that that is true. So on the diagram, continue the parts of these two to show the position of the image OB uh, formed by the lens. Draw an arrow to show the size, position, and orientation of the image of OB. And that is done. So we have the image here. Should someone ask you about the characteristics of the image, you can able to see clearly that the image, image formed here image formed here is diminished diminished to mean that it is smaller than the object the image formed here you can able to see that it is inverted vertically inverted uh, you can able to see it is formed by real, real rays meaning that this image here is real so how are the four marks awarded by this ray one mark another mark by identifying the position of the image that is a mark then the correct orientation of the image is another mark that is where the four marks is coming from because there are some of us after writing a line like this they will draw the image they will put this arrow at this particular point and that will be wrong or the way they are drawing the ray so they can draw the ray such that it is not perpendicular uh, to the principal axis that is mean by the correct orientation of the, of the image the next question is uh, number nine uh, the distance between the center of a thin converging lens and each principal focus is 5.0 centimeter uh, the lens is used as a magnifying glass to produce an image i of the object or the diagram is a full scale diagram of lens and the image i so for this scale here this is a scale we have been given here the scale it's always good to understand the scale that is being used here so for each box that is from here to here is one centimeter and also this so that means like a square okay so on the diagram we are being told the first mark is uh, to mark where f is remember we have been told that um, we have been given this information here that um, you know the distance between the center of the thin converging lens and the principal focus is is f and that is actually the f so we're going to count five boxes which represent five centimeter so from here this is, so one two three four five so we have our f here the distance from here to here is the focal length then now uh, from here this is one two three four five so this is the principal focus f on both sides 
Now the next question is that by drawing on the diagram, find the position of the object O and add object O to the diagram. Now this is a reverse question. This is a reverse question of this. So if you know how to do this, then this is going to be the reverse and it's going to be very easy. So this is how we start. But what we know is that there is always a ray of light that passes through the optical center of the lens and passes through the head of the object and the head of the image. We are all aware of that. So what I want to do, I'm going to use that ray. So draw this from here to this particular point. It's clear to see from up here the world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful. So this is what is going to guide us, the head of the image, the head of the image and this. So the ray of light is going to be drawn up to that particular point. Uh, then from here, we draw a dashed line. But then at this particular point, this ray is supposed to be parallel until where it meets somewhere here. So this is the ray. The ray of light, which is parallel to the principal axis, is refracted such that it passes through F. But this ray, if the eye is here, to the to the eye. This ray will appear to have come from behind the, the lens and therefore appears to meet here. So where is our object? Our object is here, where the lens is meeting. So by drawing the diagram, find the position of the object and add object O. So this is our object, object O. So we need to ensure that uh, all the rays of light must have, uh, must have an arrow to indicate the direction. And that is how we score full marks. Now part B of this question. Using the diagram, determine the distance of the object O from the center of the lens. So the distance of the object O, so the object O is here. So how many boxes do we have here? This is one, two, and then two. So if from here to here is one box and each is five, it means it is 0 0.2. So that means this will be two. So this will be 2.2. 2.4, 2.6, and then this will be here 3, so it means this is 2.9 centimeter. So this will be 2.9 centimeter. Of course, you're supposed to answer this using a blue or black ink. Now, question number 11 is now upon us. Um, an object O is placed on the left of a thin converging lens. F is the principal focus. This arrangement is shown below. Two rays from the top of the object incident are shown. Uh, of the diagram, draw the path of each ray to locate the position of the image, image of object formed by the lens. On the diagram, draw an arrow to represent the image and level it I. So this will be able to do it very, very fast.
question number 16 the diagram is a partially complete complete ray diagram uh, the object is at O and its image is at I uh, which distance is the focal length of the lens focal length of the lens so we know that focal length is uh, O2 F1 or O2 F2 so this is C <laughs> sorry so C to F1 so that makes this to be the correct one now 17 an object OX is placed so an object OX is placed in front of a converging lens the diagram shows a ray of light uh, from the object passing through the lens so we have it here now part A the lens forms an image of object OX okay on the diagram draw an arrow representing the image of OX and label it label it I so very fast we have a ray of light I. the diagram mark the principal focus f for the lens the principal focus array parallel to the principal axis after being refracted it passes through the principal focus f there is a free mark uh, on the diagram measure and record the focal length of the lens the focal length is the distance between the optical center of the lens and the principal focus ensure that your eye is perpendicular you and me we meant to be do that that will be 2.5 centimeter in the great outdoors yeah describe the image i <laughs> of course even before we look at um before you look at this choice here you need to go to understand uh let's measure the eye the image, the size of the image, that is uh, 1.7 uh, of the object, that is 2.1, so it means the image is smaller, so the image is diminished, um, so the image is diminished, uh, it is inverted, when you say inverted you can't say upright, when you say diminished you can't say enlarged, same size, you know, so this, this, that's okay. Number 29. A thin converging lens is used to produce an image of object O. The diagram shows O and I and the screen on which the image is produced. Uh, this is very interesting. <laughs> so here we have the, the object and the image, we don't have the lens. Uh -huh. Okay. But now that uh, the image is uh, magnified so we know clearly that this must be a convex lens it can't be a concave one all right so on the diagram draw a straight line to represent a ray from the tip of the arrowhead of o to the tip of the arrowhead of i just follow the instruction what we've been told to do So that is what you're supposed to do okay and we get <laughs> some marks there now uh, another thing is that draw a vertical dotted line to indicate the position of the lens this dotted line must extend above and below the principal axis now this shows you clearly um, if you look at this as I told you earlier just let's look at this first diagram here now a ray of light that pass through the optical center of the lens. That ray of light is never refracted. So it passes through from this tip of the object to the tip of the image. That is exactly what is happening here. So it means where it is cutting the principal axis, that is where we have the center, the optical center of the lens. <laughs> All right, so if we do this, where is it meeting? So we draw 
the line, okay? Let's just follow the instruction. So we have two marks now. Draw a second ray from the tip of the object O to the tip of the image I. This ray should pass through a principal focus. Label the principal focus F. So what we know is that uh, a ray parallel to the principal axis is refracted such that it passes through the principal focus F to the head of the image. So at this particular the tip is at uh, this is one like a bird one two somewhere here. Okay. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together, it's so beautiful, you and me. So now, what you know is that, uh, so this ray here, which is part of the principal axis after refraction, it must pass through F before it reaches the head of the image. So it means our principal focus is... is there. Determine the focal length F. So the focal length F, uh, it means uh, this from here, this will be 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6 up to here, this is 0 0.6. This will make it 1.6. 1 1.6, this is uh, 1.8, that will be 2, 2.2, 2.3. Be 2.3 centimeter. All right, uh, the image I is further from the lens than the object O is from the lens. Image I is described as enlarged and inverted. State and explain one other characteristics of of I. As you can able to see, it is formed by real images, and that makes the image to be real. Now, I hope by solving those questions, you now understand how the ray diagram uh, for the lens can be used to show how those lenses form the image. Now, uh, for the rest of the questions, you can able to find the marking scheme from our website. Should you have a challenge, uh, don't hesitate to contact us or contact me uh, by the contact form, the phone number that is there. You can able to chat by WhatsApp. Uh, thank you. Watching. See you soon in the next video. Bye.